<laughs> you know, it says right here in 1 Kings that King David was about to die. But before he died, he gave his son Solomon the following advice. Number one, he says, do what the Lord your God commands and follow his teachings. And number two, he says, obey everything written in the law of Moses. Then you will be a success no matter what you do or where you go. Notice that David didn't tell his son to build up his kingdom with great armies or to gather wealth from other lands or to even defeat his enemies in battle. Instead, David, his formula for success was to follow God and obey him. Hi, I'm Pastor Malachi. Welcome to Motivating Minutes. You know, God's formula for success is very simple, but it can be a bit complex, especially if his formula is not followed. You know, there are some people you have surrounded yourself with that want nothing more than to see you fail. They will smile and giggle in your face, but the moment you turn your back, they are cursing everything about you. They say things like, I hope they fail. I hope they get fired. I wish they would just leave. I hope they die. You know, people can say whatever they want about you, but what they don't seem to realize is they can't curse what God has blessed. And you are blessed. No matter who tried to curse you, you have been blessed by God to succeed. And no devil in hell is going to put a curse on you to fail. It's impossible. You know, in Numbers 23 and 8, and I know you're going to be encouraged by this, the writer says, how can I curse whom God has not cursed? How can I denounce whom the Lord has not denounced? There is no way anyone hating on you can cancel out what God has stamped his seal of approval on. You know, my wife, she works for AAA, and I like to use those acronyms when it comes to being sealed by God's blessing, AAA. And I want you to know that you have the AAA seal upon your life. Why do I say that? Because you have been appointed, you've been anointed, and you've been approved by God. Now, if I have to say this in every motivating minute, I will until you get it. Your best is yet to come. Let me say it again. Your best is yet to come. If God chose you, he will call you. And if he has called you, he has claimed you. Your purpose has pre been predestined before the start of time. Whatever your God has placed in you will be manifested. And those you have surrounded yourself with that will do you mental, emotional, physical, and even spiritual harm will be cut off soon. Don't be sad when people start to fall away. God is pruning your tree of life. He is cutting away all those that are not qualified to be anywhere with you in your destiny. Those that have been sucking the life out of you, literally draining all of your energy, energy drainers I call them, are now being disconnected. If you don't see it now, you will start seeing new people coming into your circle of influence. People with the same purpose, people with the same goals, and people with the same determination. Because of the type of blessing that is on your life, Isaiah knew when he wrote no weapon formed against you would prosper. That's a promise. That's a blessing. Not even you can curse what God has blessed. 
Now you might be one of those that don't like someone just because of who they are. But I want you to know, it applies to you as well. If God has blessed them, you can't curse them. So you might as well get over it and let it go. Focus on yourself. Because the more you focus on you, and the more you seek God, the less time you will have to worry about anyone else. The more of God you place in your life, the less room there is for discontentment. Be blessed. I got to get out of here and get over to my new show, LWM Podcast. Be blessed. I am Pastor Malachi, and this has been Motivating Minutes.